What's going on, guys? It's been a few days, but I did compile some uh, cash, so let's go through it. I don't know anything that's in this stuff. I didn't put in any uh, order or anything like that. Just stuff from my pocket and from the old wallet. So, let's jump into it. Let's start off with a Series 2013 $20 note. Nothing in the serial number. It's kind of the first thing I look at. I also look at like major stuff real quick. Are they matching up? Is there major print issues? Uh, things of that nature. I have a video that is linked in the description box if you're already bored. And it covers a whole bunch of different error notes that are worth pretty good money. Eh, nothing going on there. $20 note. Series 2013 also. Super rare, but sometimes there are issues with the color changing ink in the little crest here. And then the number 20. Nothing on the front. Let's look at the reverse of the note. And nice and pretty. See if we can straighten these out a little bit. Eh, somebody went writing on this note. Nothing there. 2017A. Hopefully I'll find at least like a star note or something like that. But hey, worst case scenario, the money's worth, you know, the same amount. A little bit of stray ink here next to the uh, tree. It's kind of hard to see. You can see it. A little blob. If it was really dramatic, I'd probably hold on to it, so nothing in the 20s there. 2017A, $1 note. Really good condition, despite being kind of folded from my wallet. Sorry. And nothing going on there. Huge run for 2017 and 2017A. $1 notes get a large amount of them printed, as you probably can imagine. And nothing going on there. Flip this guy around. 2017A series. Nothing going on in the front. I like to keep an eye out around where the Great Seal is kind of printed. The, uh, the uh, unfinished pyramid with the all-seeing eye. If it's unfinished, though, how is it all-seeing? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Kind of some sevens and some fives. I really only hold on to notes if they're trinaries or really better, and like a binary serial number with two digits in it. This one's got kind of some, looks like wet ink transfer. Just kind of, they stack them really quick after they cut them. A little bit of ink transferred over. Let's see how close we can get. There we go. It could just be a little bit of excess print from the other side. Not really sure. Not dramatic enough for me to hold on to. 2013 series. Worst shape of them all so far. And this thing has been wet at one point or another. You can't tell through the camera, but it's all thinned out and discolored from just being wet at some point. 2017A. Also pretty decent shape, despite this little fold. Be nice if it was a fold over air. You can kind of see a little excess of ink kind of print through of the front there. Now, I have seen ones where you can make out, in this case, Washington pretty well on the back, and I have seen those sell for, you know, 10, 15 bucks. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that's still 10 or 15 times the value of it, which is pretty sweet. So maybe with other denominations, it scales the same. Fold this out. You never know if there's like an error hiding under there, right? Like I said, this is the greatest hobby ever. I mean, I collect a lot of other stuff, um, but nothing allows me to end up with the same amount of money as I started with. <laughs> so, lots of fives, some sixes, some threes, kind of neat, but not enough of a pattern or fancy serial number for me to hold on to and really beat up. Getting down there, thanks for sticking with me. If you're new to the channel, thanks for sticking this long, four, five minutes into it. Hopefully I'm not boring you too bad, but it's really fun to collect currency because you're already going through it. And why not just look through it, you know, your coins and your banknotes and find something at least collectible. It doesn't have to be super valuable per se. It's just exciting to find something cool in general. Sorry, I'm just kind of straightening these out a little bit. Twos and sixes, nines, nothing going on. 
Printed a little high, actually, but it's not like it's crazy. I just notice it because I look at a lot of different <laughs> notes all the time. 2021, one dollar note. Is it just me or do they seem kind of like faded? I know it sounds stupid probably. Maybe it's just me. They just look, they don't look as bright as the older ones, all the 2021 ones. Here's another one. See, they just look kind of like, you know, you like photocopied the thing. It's weird. Maybe I'm just tripping out. This one's also been wet. Flop this around. There's like four or five left, so stick with me here. A little bit of an over abundance of ink going on in the nine and one here. If they're really like a little blob, I've seen those sell for, you know, three to five bucks, maybe more if they're really good condition. Again, it doesn't sound like a lot, but hey, in the collectibles realm, if you're able to double, triple, or even quintuple your value like that from $1 to $5, and then they pay the shipping, that's not bad. 4.8 on the end's pretty sweet right here, 2021 also. Better condition than its little buddies. Back of the note. Nothing going on. I like to keep an eye out for the same stuff. I mean, anywhere where there's intricate detail and mainly just overall print. And then if there's like ink issues, things of that nature. But I see some, nothing on that one. A couple of tens and a five to finish it up. Nothing in the serial number. They match up. Everything's printed really well. No shifts in the seals or serial numbers. We got a weird alien blood stain on the back of this we'll just keep moving on nothing going on there nothing to see there and kind of cool where the fours are split up but nothing going on in that serial number back of the note cool depiction of the u.s treasury building check it out sometimes if, sometime i can't even talk if you're in washington last but not least some ones in the middle there Nothing going on the serial number. 2021 $5 note. Back of the note all folded up. I'll do some bill origami with it later or something like that. But unfortunately, we did not find anything uh, really collectible in this one. They can't all be winners. But at the end of the day, I end up with the same money I started out with. So I can't complain. Let me know what you've come across in your coin and banknote searches lately in the comments below. Hopefully in the next video, I'll find something a little more collectible than nothing collectible. <laughs> and I uh, can't wait to read about what you've come across in your coin and banknote searches lately in the comments. So, like always, I'll see you there, and I'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome day.